Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, uh, I'm going to do a quick video on how I'm going to install an Ohio 60 inch plow blade onto my zero turn mower. Um, I posted up a couple videos last year of me doing my driveway. Um, as you can see, it's decent size, uh, about 90 feet long. Uh, so, um, I opted uh, to go with a plow blade for this machine as I already had it. Unfortunately, my side-by-side, -side, um, they do not make a proper plow for it as it is a pure sport. So, uh, for this winter, I'm going to go back at it with the tractor as I already have everything for it. So, um, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to install. Uh, we've already got the tractor in the shop. We've got uh, our mounting brackets out. Um, I do use a small impact wrench uh, with a deep 916 socket uh, that just fits the bolts. And uh, once we get that all mounted up, we'll drag this big six or five foot blade over and we'll show you how that connects too. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay. All right, so for a tightening procedure, uh, just wanna get it loose and centered the best you can. And we're gonna do this nice and slow. So we got our impact. So I'll snug up one corner. Snug up another corner. Now again, that's loose, but just as a starter. So I'll center this. Sorry, before I tighten that down, I'm gonna center the uh, mount adjustment. There we go. Okay, so it's free, loose, free floating. Now we can do our final adjustments before we tighten it down. So as long as that bar is sitting straight, I'm happy with that. Okay. Right. So, just gonna take a quick break and change up impacts as my battery died. All right, so I forgot one little step, but I'll show you what. Um, on your Ohio steel plow, uh, for storage, I separated the mount from the blade. Uh, that left the blade and the foot control together, uh, which included this long pipe here. Uh, before you go to mount to your mower, you might want to uh, just put this uh, large tube fork into the sleeve first. Um, I forgot to, not a big deal. Um, all I had to do was pop out a pin or two, lift it, put it in. So, uh, just to save you guys some money. So there's one pin. And the bottom of those pins just have little uh, keys to keep them from falling out. So we'll put them in now before we forget. Beautiful. All right. So uh, right now your blade is floating free. We're going to connect that right now. 
uh, with this big pin and this arm, there is a uh, corresponding hole for it. So we'll just go ahead and line that up. Plow blade is lined up uh, really well. Okay, so we're going to take uh, two more of these uh, secure locking rings. We'll put them into the pin that is holding the plow blade to this. Okay. Now, last but not least, the pin that actually connects the blade to the mounting bracket. Simple as that. Now that's all one piece, we can go ahead and connect the foot control. So there's not much, it's just a straight pipe with uh, uh, two foot rests. And don't forget your locking pin. All right. So um, we've got our plow on. Uh, it's good and tight. Uh, our mounting uh, mounting is nice and straight, good and snug. Everything is all connected. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll show you quickly how it works. So you're on your mower, you're doing your thing, da 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 Just a simple lift of the foot will raise and lower your blade. Just like that. And it doesn't even take that much pressure. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to uh, hook this up. Um, took me 10 minutes to disassemble it. Uh, put it in storage. So... It's uh, almost December here in Canada, so I thought I'd get ready for the white stuff. Uh, yeah, hopefully this helps somebody. And uh, if you like the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. We'll see you guys next time.